I am Liz Wright. Welcome to Live Your Best Life. The only thing that matters now is living by the power of this wonderful new creation life. We're going to become an undefeatable force of radiating glory, and we are rising up strong now in this hour. Hi, guys. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Live Your Best Life with, of course, Mila's right. And in today's conversation, you are going to be so blessed. My special guest joining me today is truly an authentic man of God who lives to know the heart of God and to live in overflow and to take people into the presence and just really to release the Lord's heart and help facilitate that experience into really knowing Jesus the way he wants to be known. So his love for Jesus and his passion for Jesus is just so, so contagious. Holy Spirit. (laughs) So I'm feeling the presence already. Wow. So it's my joy and it's my honor to welcome into the conversation with me today, Steve Swanson. Steve, welcome. Hello, Liz. So good to to be here. I'm honored to be here. This is so great. It's so great. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Steve, I know many of the family watching around the world will know who you are. Obviously, you are a well-known and loved international worship leader. Um, but I know many probably won't know your story. And I so I, I want to I want to extract the treasure from your life today, just mm-hmm. as keys, you know, to help each of us walk, you know, more deeply with Jesus. God, so I want to go there as well. But I just wanted to start by asking, will you share with us, like, where did it start? How did you actually get to know Jesus? Um, that's It goes back a long way. Um, I, uh, my parents both were ministers, and they had their own church. Mm-hmm. And this church was connected to our house. So literally if I go down two stairs, two steps of a stair, I was in the church from our house. So it was literally connected to the house. So um, it, it was my uh, stepfather and my mom raised me. And uh, I remember just being, you know, just young, just knowing um, the, you know, freedom in, in, in Christ. My mom would uh, lead the worship and my dad would preach. And so um, I m- remember just sitting in there, and it was interesting because um, the the church was really free, and the, no more than fifty people, but it was a small church. But the freedom there, it was something that uh, w- w- was rare. It, you know, in uh, certain churches, you don't see that much freedom, <laughs> like a lot of dancing, a lot of uh, a, a lot of. Uh, manifestations of the spirit just just amazing stuff and for for a little kid observing it it was it was it was quite entertaining i must say <laughs> I um, bet. we had a we had a lady in our church that would get going and she'd she'd dance around the whole whole church and then i'd see her coming and i'd kind of hide my head because she'd always you know grab me to go and dance with her you know and walk around the sanctuary just crazy crazy stuff amazing amazing things um but that's that's how it all started it, it started hearing my dad preach and my mom lead worship and mm-hmm. when my mom sang um her voice I, I remember at really early age her voice would really touch something deep in my spirit and i would just uh, just cry at the sound of it in fact i would even uh put my head on metal chairs so it, it would resonate with the metal chair and i just remember just this weeping to that so at a very early age, I was I was being touched by the spirit. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you might you what an amazing way to grow up, hey? Because you were obviously just abs- absorbing real kingdom life and absorbing so much. So when did you um, know that the Lord was calling you to to be a worshiper? Really, I mean, you are that's who you are, isn't it? It's what you do professionally. Yeah. But it's actually who you are. I, I was about seven years old. Oh, um, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know that just it was just part of everything i mean we 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 would have a lot of church so they would go um so on monday nights we'd go 50 miles away on tuesday nights we'd go 75 miles away have meetings wednesday back back at home and then once a month on thursday we'd go 180 miles away uh, and then another meeting on friday and then two on sunday 
So that was basically, <laughs> that was wow. my week. So, um, I, you know, that's, I, I knew it. And in fact, I'm thinking about this picture that I had where I have this, I have my Bible in my hand. I'm like a seven or eight years old. I got my Bible and I got a little suit coat and a little gold medallion on. And I was like standing up straight as I could be like, like a little, like a little preacher, you know? <laughs> and, um, so I did, knew, but at seven years old, I, I, we were on a way to a, a camp meeting and I told my mom, and I don't remember telling her this, but I told her, I go, I go mom, I'm going to get the baptism tonight at the camp meeting. So she said, as soon as the, as soon as the music started, I ran up to the altar and threw my hands up and just started uh, speaking in tongues and overwhelmed by the spirit. I remember that camp meeting. And so I was determined you know, I was determined to uh, to receive, uh, and I, I, I just, you know, you just know, you kind of know that, that this is what I'm supposed to do. There's yeah. a calling on your life that you 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 step into, and you know you're in the right place. Uh, you get the witness in the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, isn't it? And and obviously, your your spirit was just being drawn there. Like the Lord was just, He had just had your life didn't he in the hunger yeah that that's one of the most um the most impactful <clears throat> things about talking with you and being with you and you know like when you know when we were um both ministering together you know in seattle at darren stott's place which was just mm. the, one of the most holy experiences where the presence of god fell and you know you were under the keyboard and just like um, and i was on the floor and um but what what impacted me and what impacts me about you is because you live this there's um there's a hunger that rises in me your hunger steve is contagious your mm. your love for jesus and your passion for his presence and your passion for us to know him really know his heart and to live in awe of who he is it's just contagious it comes from you and um like when you were you know when you shared on our international mentoring community you were you were sharing about like some of the keys of what the Lord's shown you in terms of how you maintain that connection with Jesus, how you live this life every day mm -hmm. to maintain the connection and keep going deeper so that you were saying, so everywhere you, you go, you're living in overflow. You're bringing your authentic relationship and you're living, you, you described us as obviously being the lamps that are filled constantly with right. living in overflow. So I know that's a massively important subject for, you know, for many of you guys out there, we want to know the keys. It's like, how, what have we each discovered, you know, about how we walk with the Lord? So will you share some of those keys with us that you've learned, Steve? Yeah. Well, for me, I mean, you know, being in the, being in the worship leader, it, it was um, being in, in worship, doing, doing worship. But mm. I think one of the keys is, is it's one thing to worship God by yourself, mm. all alone, when nobody's looking, and it's another thing to be like in in a worship worship meeting where you know they, they, they're two different things because <clears throat> I'd like it like this if if you do what you do in secret what do you do in the in just by yourself with nobody's no accolades no you know nothing it's just you and God that's you're essentially sowing into your yourself you're mm -hmm. sowing into that anointing and that's what that's what causes you to grow in that now the corporate setting is 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 awesome for that too and you can there's all kinds of things you can gather from that but it's really those those one-on-one -on -one times with god that really really fills your lamp that's what that's where you get the oil you get the oil and 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 through the word and and just you know i would just sit in that room and just uh sing scripture you know sing from the psalms or just sing from my heart and 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 that's where some of the songs come out of that. A lot of the songs come out of those one-on-one -on -one times. Um, so that would be my uh, that would be my advice is mm. to sow into yourself, sow into that anointing that God has given you, and the yeah. increase will happen. Fill your lamp. Yeah, it's to be authentic, right? <clears throat> it's the it's it's the authentic relationship, and that's why you're when you lead us into worship, it's so powerful because it's the it's authentic it's authentic. Your relationship, your love for Jesus is so alive on the inside for you. And I think that's why it's contagious because you're living it. There's just the power of your union with Jesus mm -hmm. is flowing out of the worship that you then, you know, and are able to bring us into the presence of the God that you know, you know, to use 
that language. There was something else that I, when you were sharing with us on the IMC and you were talking about um, where, how you take people in, like you, you'll you begin to frame up through the right. song that you get. I thought that was profound because that helps us re-engage and go right. deeper into the law, but it also helps us take other people in, right? Will you will you unpack that a bit, Steve? Because it was real. I've never heard that before. It was really profound. Yeah. Well, whereas uh, some might put a list together, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to do this song and this song, and then end with this song and that song. Um, <clears throat> I, this is actually the that's the Lord downloaded this to me. It's like it's like <clears throat> you ask Him, okay, Holy Spirit. Where where do you want me to take your people? Where do you want to where do you want to where are you? Where what do you want to meet? Is you you know you're looking for the wind, right? Right. And you might it, it might be something like uh, uh, I'll meet you at the throne or something like that. You know, wow. so that is the picture that is the that is the picture that you as a worship leader have to paint. And so, okay, what does what does that look like? And there's you know songs uh, there's songs about that. So you want to build your songs around that picture. So that that becomes clear, and as a uh, as a good picture would have a, a frame. I call it framing. You're framing the picture with the, the songs around the picture, but the picture is the place where you want to meet God at. That's the that's the place where you want to behold Him, where where He becomes that that reality of that painting. So the 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 frame around it would would point to that picture, just like with the beveled edges of a frame draws your eye right to the picture. And that's, and that's, um, that's where you want to take the people. That's where, and it, and it, what's wonderful about it is the Holy spirit is, is your conductor or your guide on this tour. You um, know, he, he leads and guides you to into the truth of, of the reality of what the picture is. And the, the cool thing about it is it's very flexible too, because the picture can change. And oftentimes it does, like in the middle of worship, where it gives you flexibility. It's like, okay, we are it's this place, but now say we're at that throne area and we're and we're singing about the throne, and there you behold the king on the throne, and then uh, all of a sudden it might change to a time of of intimacy, where you actually you know you behold his eyes of fire, and you you his love starts to begin to overwhelm you. So that picture becomes the picture that you you're drawn to too. So it really gives you a lot of flexibility in that, and I think it it helps people. Uh, get the focus of that rather than just doing a list of songs that kind of fit together. It's actually, you're, you're creating a landscape for people to step into the reality is, um, you know, this, this, like it, like the scriptures, they're, they're places they're, they're living. They're like, let's go to revelation four. Let's go to revelation four and let's just explore what revelation four four says. So, that's that's essentially what that is about framing it's profound so i mean it's literally prophetic worship isn't it you're getting the invitation from the lord's heart Mm -hmm. like what like you said where are you so if it's the throne room he's like i want to meet you now yeah in the throne room Ooh. and oh, ha. yeah so I, feel that. I know so do i like and oh, yeah. oh here we go <laughs> right now there's an invitation to step in just as you're sharing that but that's, exactly that's well, what's happening right you're stepping in like the the, wa- the words are doorway you're receiving you're release you're receiving the word of god from the heart of god mm-hmm. and people can just step straight in and and i've i've seen what you you know the songs that come from you steve are just beautiful and then and then we, it's like we step in through that painting like you said i love that languaging into then encountering yeah Jesus, and then you step into the intimacy. Then you go. This is the doorway into encounter, isn't it? Through worship, literally. Yes, yes. Actually, going there and, yeah. and experiencing, you know, what that what that is. What is it? What does it feel like to be surrounded by seven lampstands and not get yeah. burnt? <laughs> you know, yeah. what does it feel like to to hear the crystal sea? Just the, these things, you know. <clears throat> what is what does the lightning sound like? What does the rainbow look like? Just all this stuff that you know that our, our our spirit eye can see, and you know I'm not saying that you I see it like in the natural no, but my faith says yeah. it's there, and so it's it's a faith picture really. It's yeah. like this is where we are, 
this is what we are encountering. And the beauty part of that is, is uh, once you're in the picture, you can sing about the picture and it doesn't have to be a song. You can just sing what you you, you feel or you see in your spirit. Yeah. yeah. So that, it, that actually adds detail. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I, I do. That, <laughs> it adds detail to the painting. So like, I, he's like, I never noticed that, that, that shadow over there before or the color of that or yeah. Yeah. Like, and it's like when you're reading the word also it's like there's times you go back over a scripture that you probably read a read hundred times and you see it you and all of a sudden you'll see it it's like i never knew that word was there i always kind of skipped over that word but then that word means a lot right. and all of a sudden that that another layer peels back and yeah yeah because yeah. <laughs> it's infinite isn't it and it's the doorway into experience in the author of it you know it's literally yeah. I, I know I read the word like that it's just it's an invitation I'm always talking to Jesus as I'm reading the word looking at him you know like you're 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 leading us in but you're looking at him all the time aren't you it's like what what's going on in heaven right now we want to come and be part of that you know show exactly. me what's going on and then boom you know we're in it and yeah <clears throat> oh, oh. When this is how we should be living our lives, right? This is, it's so encouraging. Absolutely. And, and you know that it, it's like, you don't have to get worked up to do it. It's, it's there. It's already there. You just simply step into it. Yeah. Because it's, it's already happening. Yeah. It, it, it's already happening around the throne. And it's just a matter of us just, you know, merging with right. that. Right. Like you, you know, like I've heard you share as well, where we, like John, yeah, uh, you know, John, the door in the book of Revelation. Come yeah. up here. That was the lyrics, isn't it? That's one of your powerful yeah. worship songs. It's the lyrics come up here where yeah. the Lord's saying to John, step through the door and come in and be here and see what's right. going on, you know, and wow, yeah. the result was the Re book of Revelation for us. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, lead people to that place and, um, you know, so they can, everybody can get their own encounter. So it, yeah. it's like, it, it, it's a journey. It should be a. It should be a. <laughs> it should be a journey. And sometimes it's a. It's a crazy journey. I mean, yeah. Uh, we. <clears throat> I was in a meeting a couple of weeks ago, and uh, you know, I I felt the. You ever feel like the the terror of God is like what do I do now? It's like I, I, for lack of a better word, but it was such an awe moment that you don't want to touch it. And it yeah, was yeah. it was simply uh, there was a guy dancing in, on the platform, and the music stopped. And I'm like, I I, go, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and you know, when you're in it, you're going, I don't want to, I don't want to touch this. Yeah. You know, or, or do I, what do I do? Do I go to another song? It's like I love, I love that. I live for those moments where you can just sense that you're you you're in the picture and you're in that place so yeah. we grab as worship leaders we grab the people and we say look there he is let's go yeah. here and yeah. it's, essentially that's what it is and and everybody has a different encounter yeah. during that when they're in that picture it's like oh I, I, I feel it yeah the holiness and the awe of god do you know um it, it it's really true honestly when when i'm talking with you steve it <laughs> you do frame up for us um like a revelation of the sovereignty of god you know it's like okay this is going on in our life all that you know and you guys out there there is a lot of pressure and the pressure is real but it's temporal and and i think it's so powerful what you do steve because it for me i listen to you and i I freshly remember the sovereignty of who God is mm. and I can sit my situation that's temporal drama and pain or whatever it is <laughs> yeah. in the context of the sovereignty of God and his faithfulness. And obviously right. you've experienced him like that. And so, uh, you know, in encounter and in your life circumstances um, and it imparts, you know, and, uh, and it's so important, isn't it? Especially right now to keep resetting us ourselves yeah. back into remembering, yeah, he's a big God. You know, I, I I think looking back on that, you had me look back on my childhood. I think I can. I, I learned so much from my stepfather. Did he you? was yeah, because he he was he just unshakable. I I think of the word unshakable. What no matter what was happening around him, it's like now my mom was a little different. She was a little more emotional, but he was he was literally unshakable and steadfast in his faith, knowing that that God would come through 
And I, I learned so much from him. And they, he was such a man of the word. He just, he, I have his Bible and it has markings like all over. He never used notes mm -hmm. for, you know, any speaking. He just would know, know where the, know where the scriptures were that, so I think that I got that I got that from my dad, and I then I got the the love for for Jesus from my mom, because she was she she would write songs, and yeah, she yeah, I see both of them in in there, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I'm I'm honored that uh, to share that with you. It's like, but so I'm honored that, that I got that deposit, and that that goes that goes really deep, and I want to say something for. For those of you who have children and you think they're not paying attention in church or, or whatever, it's okay because they are, the word goes in. I mean, like I was in, I heard the word over and over again. And, you know, it, as a kid, you just kind of, you're looking for stuff to do in a three hour meeting, but the word goes in. So be encouraged parents that it, the word will not return void. And, um, it, it goes in and it'll accomplish what it, it set out to do. But your kids are getting the word. If they're sitting in it, they're getting it. So, Amen. So powerful. Mm -hmm. It's true, isn't it? It's so powerful. Yeah I, it yeah. I remember with my daughter when she was very little, um, you know, even when she was in her little baby patch when she was tiny, I remember the Holy Spirit saying to me, take her with you everywhere. All the revival yeah. meetings when you're speaking, in the worship, whatever, just take her. It's all absorbing all the truth and the beauty and the love of who the presence of God. And, and I think it sensitizes, doesn't it, um, their spirit, like it obviously did with you, Steve, yeah. where you know the authentic presence of God. You know mm -hmm. it. You recognize his presence from such an early age. Yes, that, that's right. And now. Uh... But you know you can uh, you can uh, learn to to walk in that. I, I think uh, there's a part in the in the book that I wrote that called about um, calling people to an awareness. If we just become a little more aware of you know what what he's doing or, or his presence, because we we do we get caught up in the in the wind of doing the daily stuff that yeah. we forget to be aware. I think in it, when we were talking to the people on Zoom, we talked about, um, uh, you know, we talked about becoming more aware and, and just asking, mm -hmm. you know, we, a lot of times we forget to ask. It's like yeah. you have not because you ask not. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I think we all can train ourselves to become more aware. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. It's so, it's so true, isn't it? Just keeping, keeping our, keeping presently aware of his presence and right. like you said asking you know being in the relationship it's it's part of what he wants isn't it he wants us to be dialoguing with him and because he knows our needs but he wants the relationship you know and seeing and he wants us to set ourselves in receive mode and expectation of yeah. okay there's some more goodness coming in there's more of my relationship about to come online i'm going to experience more of you and your faithfulness and and that just steadies our heart doesn't it and builds us up as we keep going forward Steve, I would love to ask you, will you pray for people? Because you, you there's so much in you. Just, um, yeah, whatever's yeah. in your spirit, I would love you to pray for people. Okay. Um, Lord, I, I just ask you right now that um, to those who are listening, and who even now or later, Lord, that you would uh, in, indeed give them an awareness of your presence, your daily presence. God, you're so faithful, uh, and you've shown your faithfulness to generation after generation so lord even for those who uh, might be um, worried about things happening in the world lord i ask that your perfect peace would come upon them now and your your perfect peace and your perfect love that would cast out all that fear and i i pray for divine encounters even like uh, <laughs> even like some of the crazy ones that you you gave me lord like hearing the sounds of of different things like creation and 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 hearing heaven's sound. I, I pray that would open up for your people listening to this podcast, Lord, that you would bring them into a deeper revelation of of who you are and that everything that surrounds you and all of everything that the very essence of who you are, the your glory, the glory of who you are. I just pray that you reveal that for them, Lord. Even as they're listening right now, I just I, I sense that that there are people that will hear this and they actually they get a witness in their spirits like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want more of that. I want more of that. So you're, you're hungering after that. And the Lord will honor that 
And so right now, as you listen, I just pray that divine encounter to come upon you now and um, that God would reveal himself in amazing ways that you would never think of before. And I just bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We agree. We agree. Wow. Who when who holy <laughs> when you were praying then Steve I I kept hearing the spirit uh, saying the scripture and it's for all of you it's for all of us actually Father when Jesus was speaking he was praying you know it's recorded in the Gospels Father bring them to be with me where I am and that's mm. not right that's not for when we die that's no. now right yeah 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 right and so so i really felt it like there was a shift happening in you all and an, and a resensitizing to be able to experience jesus to live from where you actually are now seated with him in in the union that you live from there knowing what's going on in heaven and then bringing that to the earth and so the yes yeah, there's a greater ability to walk like that. I really <laughs> felt that happening, like activating inside you when you were praying, Steve. So mm, bring them to wow. where I am. Yeah. That awesome. Jesus. That was Jesus's prayer to the Father. That is so good. Bring them to be with me where I am all the time. Right. Because you died for the reconnection, the relationship, and that's our privileged life now. So, so good. 100% sensitivity to being with him where he is in your sensory awareness, full experience, encounters like you've never had, like you prayed. Steve, just different level for a different day. Yes. Amen, amen. From, amen. from oh. glory to glory. From glory to glory. Absolutely. Yes. Gazing, gazing, beholding, beholding. And then being transformed in the fullness of our experience of, yeah, coming forth as the perfected expression of who he is. So, uh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Steve, thank you so much for being with us. You're amazing. You're that went by really fast. You Doesn't were right. It? It's super fast, hey? Yeah. <laughs> I could talk to you for hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. And guys, thank you for tuning in today as well. Have the most amazing week going deeper and deeper with Jesus and look forward to being with you again next week. God bless. Hi, if you really enjoyed today's show and you want to go deeper with Jesus and experience his love and his presence more than you ever have, then I have a present for you, a free gift. If you want to jump over to experiencinggodslove.com and just click on and sign up, then you will receive one of my teaching videos that I have created especially for you that will not only give you a few keys just very, very quickly that you can uh, utilize in your daily walk with the Lord, um, but also I'm going to take you there as well. So it's an activation. So yeah, so jump over to experiencinggodslove.com and you are going to be so blessed. <laughs>